Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here, and this is obviously a boosted board, and this is the new boosted board mini. So I've often thought of boosted as the Tesla of electric skateboards. And I'm not just saying that just to find a reason to talk about Tesla. I really mean, if you think about it a lot, they're both leading the way in electrifying their category. And they're also both really pricey and their biggest challenge seems to be getting that price down lower into a lower market. So if the longboard, the boosted board we've all heard and seen is kind of like their flagship Model S, then this new Mini we're talking about today would be kind of like their Model 3, their most important and cheapest yet. The longboard is 1400, 1600 bucks, even for the new ones, which is pretty pricey, but there is nothing else really like it. But we're kind of expecting a similar experience with the boosted Mini, starting at 750 bucks. So this is your first look at the boosted board Mini. And I'm no expert, but I can honestly say that I think this thing's gonna be a pretty big deal for them. Also, since I'm not much of an expert, I got a lot of my observations by hanging out with this guy. Obviously, Casey knows boosted boards really, really well. Okay. That has a little bit more torque. Okay. And so a lot of his opinions help to influence mine here. So with the new Boosted Board Mini, obviously it's smaller, uh, but much of this is the same as the awesome Boosted Board we're used to, but there's just some key differences and actually improvements. So the board, first of all, is 29 inches long instead of 39, and that makes a lot of difference as far as making it easier to carry and bring with you places, and of course, how you ride it. It's got this concave shape now, and it has a sloping curve to the middle, which helps you know where to put your feet on the board without looking. Uh, it has a slight tail at the back end, kind of like a normal skateboard. And honestly, I think it looks a lot better with the grip tape and the new logo and the black and gray, just overall a little bit stealthier. Uh, it's rocking very similar wheels to the original boosted board, but they're a couple millimeters smaller. But the biggest difference is now in their construction. A lot of this is much stronger material now, and all the motors and belts and trucks and overall construction feel rock solid right off the bat. And then in ride quality, Basically, a lot of the dampening and the control you feel when you're on a longboard like this is from the gap in between the wheels, which has a lot of flex. This kind of acts as your suspension system when riding around, especially at higher speeds to help you feel more in control and stable and smooth. Boosted Mini doesn't have that gap, so the battery goes all the way across. There's almost no flex at all, but the trucks are a bit looser, and instead you kind of use your foot on the back tail as your suspension and control the board over height. So at first this sounds kind of like a compromise, but at the end of the day, it's just the difference in riding style between a regular skateboard and a longboard. So okay, you've probably noticed by now, I'm obviously not like a veteran skateboard rider by any means, but even for me, I've noticed being smaller, the Mini has three main advantages. That would be carrying, turning radius, and just ride style. So for carrying, trying to carry the longboard is hard, there's no way around it. It's like 20 pounds, it drags along the ground unless you hold it pretty high. The Mini, if you just hold it, doesn't touch the ground, even when it's loose at your side. So even though it's roughly the same weight, it's immensely easier to grab and go. Then for cornering, I don't know if you've ever tried to turn a tight corner on the boosted board, but it's next to impossible sometimes. You basically end up getting off the board, adjusting it with your hands or your feet, then getting back on and going. But thanks to the tail on the Mini, you can kick up the front wheels and turn kind of like a normal skateboard. I mean, it's not exactly like a normal skateboard because of all the extra weight, obviously, but you can get used to it pretty quick and you get calibrated for how to do this really fast. Even the looser trucks feel like you can carve tighter. You can still carve on an original boosted board, obviously that's what long boards are all about, but this is just like Model 3 versus Model S. There's no way around it. A shorter wheelbase means you can turn faster. And then in ride style, at the end of the day, this one comes down to preference. You might prefer riding a long board or a short board, depending on who you are, what you do, what your commute is. Uh, I think there's gonna be a lot of people like Casey that ride around with longer commutes in the city all the time with a lot of straight lines and longer roads and the longboard is gonna be perfect for that. But then again, if your ride is more like an obstacle course where you gotta go over and around things all the time, the convenience of having a tail might beat out the style of a longboard. So there's a lot of pros and cons, a lot of ups and downs, but at the end of the day, I'm excited just to see something new from Boosted who's been on that staple, that one flagship for so long. The Mini is different, and if I'm being honest, it's my new favorite mobile electric skateboard. I've tried a couple others, I don't ride that many, but having ridden this, the quality is that much better than the others I've tried. And then if I'm just trying to decide between the mini and the regular longboard, 
it's just easier. It's easier to travel with. It's easier to pick up and carry and, and drop someplace if you walk into a coffee shop or if you walk into class or if you just want to carry it. There's just so many things that are easier about a smaller board. So I'm cool with not having the flex in the suspension and learning to use that tail because it seems to be working better for me. Also, you've probably noticed on their site, there is a Mini S and a Mini X that looks a little bit different. So the Mini S is the one we've been talking about, the orange wheels. It's 750 bucks. It has a seven mile range. The Mini X is kind of like what Tesla would call the long range version, which is a thousand bucks and doubles the battery, 14 mile range. So it's also, something like two miles an hour faster, but that's not what you're paying for here. It's the range. But either way, that's it. I'm pumped. I'm excited to, I'm gonna make this my main form of mobile transportation. I'm switching from the longboard to it. But I'm also curious to see how some other electric skateboard makers are going to respond to this. A lot of them have really banked on being cheaper than the boosted board. Now they have to consider this. Uh, also, if you wanna see a much more talented and experienced boosted board rider's impressions of this board, you can click on Casey's video up here. It's really good, it also went live today, but that's about it, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.